Two girls club, scene one, take one. Oh God. Well, we have a different direction this time. Last time it was a different direction. This is helpful. Uh, nope. So we're going to show you a video. Scene three, take one. Okay. Okay. So we're going to show you a video, and we just want you to watch it, and then we'll talk about it. Okay. After my dad passed, I remember not attending the Boys no. and Girls Club for a few <laughs> days. And I remember getting there, my friends came up to me and hugged me. All of like the staff asking me if I was okay. Everything would be okay. That we would get through this. Having that support made me feel like really happy that I go to the Boys and Girls Club and that I wouldn't get through it alone. I would kind of be scared to talk to people because um, I've not really talked to myself most of the time. And at school, I only had like one friend or stuff. Now, like, I play with lots of kids and stuff. And I have, and I have so much confidence because of this boy and girls club. I'm looking back at that now. I'm just like, oh my god. <laughs> Is it my video? <laughs> Oh no. Oh no. I was oh my god. I kept to myself. There's certain groups oh, of god. kids in school. There's the cool kids, oh. the weird kids, and the, and the smart Alex. The like guy I always want to be the, one of the cool kids. I used to really care about what people thought about me. People are different. I didn't realize that's like that's the boys and girls club because like everyone there was open, they would talk about stuff. Being open and being myself was way better and like made me more friends. I think I have grown a lot from where I was then. I think that now I have like my goals set straight, like I'm a lot more clear than I did then. I would describe her like she had less energy. When I was younger, I used to like, um, I would just ask questions and then they would answer. Like I would have to hesitate and think about it. Now I'm just like, I just go up to them and talk to them. I'm more mature, I would say. I, I'm still kind of the same. Like I don't think I've changed really that much, but when I was younger, I felt like I could do more stuff. Now that I grow older, I was like, oh, life is so much harder than it really seems. So that's, that's weird to think about. I think my favorite thing about the club is the like relationship you build with the staff because like I could really say like since I started I have always had like a staff that has been super close to me and like they come and go because of like college and stuff but like they're always replaced with somebody just as great as the one before. Them being able to relate to my situation and like hear me out and let me know that I wasn't alone really helped me because like to the day, even though they don't work here, I still talk to them because of that. Uh, boys and Girls Clubs, I love them field trips, like the NBA games. They would take us to the Nuggets. We've been swimming, we've been to museums to see um, dinos like fossils and all that stuff. Um, in the future, I want to take more trips to just like fishing, hiking, and more stuff like that. Boys and Girls Club just got a new thing called VR, and now Kevin is teaching us how to use it. I love Boys and Girls Club because it helped me with my soccer dreams. Since I was younger, I've wanted to do soccer. I'm really good at that. My brother brought me to Boys and Girls Club. So club has been very important to me because sometimes I feel like giving up on assignments and like giving up on a bunch of stuff but boys and girls club is like always there like to cheer me up you know if i wasn't in the club i i don't think i would be as confident as i am now because club has really helped me like get out of my bubble of being so like non-talkative something that i've worked really hard for this year is business because i also like the idea of being like an entrepreneur and pursuing business. 
and that's one of the things that I probably want to go to college for. The club is important to me because they have opened a lot of doors for me and have really like kind of like secured my future in a way. So like before I like had any scholarships or anything, I wasn't too sure if I was going to go to college. But because of it, like I have a foundation to start something great. This summer I'm going to be starting my first job and it's going to be Boys and Girls Club. It's a great opportunity for me because it helps me start up my life to see what a job is like, to see what the struggles are and what the benefits are. Throughout this whole process of like being a club and like Youth of the Year, like I've learned that people have like a lot more to them than what they appear. They had a Thanksgiving party here and they were giving out awards and Ruby gave me an award that said, most likely to be famous. And I framed it and put it on my wall. And I'm, I, look, I look up at that every day when I wake up. So proud of it. Boys and Girls Club help kids make better choices. If I hadn't joined Boys and Girls Club, I would have not been confident. I would have still been shy. I, wouldn't be, I would have trouble talking to people and I wouldn't have, I wouldn't be as smooth. I wouldn't be as social as I am now and I am more confident than I used to be. A message I would send to the future is for people to be more aware of their actions and how their actions could affect our world and other people. I hope to help the world get better in the future and that we have a healthy environment. Right now there's a lot of things wrong with our world. There's wars that could be stopped, trash that could be stopped from getting into rivers, to the ocean, you know. And I don't feel like we're putting much time into what really matters, you know. If we don't take care of our planet, there won't be like a, a place to resolve all our problems. I want people to think that I'm fun to be around. I would like to be remembered like a kid that everyone loved, you know. I want people to feel like they belong.